foundation and good walls, and you have a good roof, then everything will come around. So it's very important for us to know how to deal with each other. I want to start by saying that um, it has taken a long time to get our financial service point, and I'm glad that he has arrived back, the position he has arrived at. And, and let me explain that. Right? Sometimes you get some lashes from your comrades and some things you want to bend. And you do not somebody want to listen to your own, but you want to listen to your comrades at every level. But sometimes when you have other comrades and you have some servants who have a view, and that view is different to what you're hearing at the secretary, you tend to believe that the secretary might be right and your comrades might be wrong. I want to say that over the years that we have always followed the secretariat. But one has to change, uh, one has to recognize that we have had changing times, that the world is dynamic, and that you cannot continue to operate in the same mode that you have been operating in for the last 45 years and expect to continue operating in that mode. For example, if we are to develop CARICOM, we cannot develop CARICOM without recognizing that we need to develop every country within CARICOM. Yeah. And we cannot do that by depleting countries. What we need to do is to move resources to every country. And the first thing we need to do is to find a resource, develop a resource bank within CARICOM. In other words, we need to know the resources that are being offered in Ghana, Trinidad, Barbados, and every single country within CARICOM. I was fortunate to have a chat with my minister Manning when we had the head of the government in Antigua. And I said to him, I know I don't think he would be offended if I mentioned this, that we need to have a new look on how we approach the petroleum fund. That that fund is too important for us to use it where people can just draw from the fund. And at the end of the day, those projects that they get involved in, that those projects are no help to the other Caribbean Car Car countries. What we need is a fund that people can bring projects to the table and that those projects, when developed, can help every single CARICOM country. In other words, if Ghana has projects that have export potential, I strongly believe that we should find the resources to take to Guyana and develop those projects. Same thing for Jamaica. Same thing for 29, same thing for Vincent, every single one. Because if we do not do that, and if we do not build resources, then we will end up in the same position. And one thing that we should never do is because a couple of countries appear on paper to be doing well, is for us to focus and have a movement towards those countries so that we dilute them and put them in the same position as any all the other countries. What we need to do is to find those resources and develop an export bank. You see, too many countries depend on revenue. Every time we open my mouth, you will probably hear me make this statement. It is not revenue. It is for an exchange. And until we can build the right level of foreign exchange within the region, we are not going to go anywhere. And it does not make sense for Trinidad to be doing well, and Paris doing well, and all the other countries not doing well. We want to see all of our partners behaving in the same way and having the resources in the same way. Because if we do not do that, two will look pretty and the others will look bad, and then we will have no character because we break jealousy and confusion. And that was why I was saying that the Caribbean government now to see, need to see themselves as shareholders. And that is, let 
Can't you break the project and buy into them? Let me explain this. You take Trinidad for example. If Trinidad tomorrow, if they start to get some good oil revenue again, and if Manin is able to say to his people in Trinidad, I am going to buy shares in this project, and he can put forward a project to demonstrate that there will be returns, the people in Trinidad will not stop him from doing it. But if he gets a lot of money, and he says that he's going to contribute, <coughs> Trinidad is obviously going to say, I want my share. Why are you giving me my share? And people don't have to realize that this is now a dynamic world. And people don't understand what is happening and coming out of this crisis. You are going to see even more of that. So it is not give me any more. It is invest in me. And that is how we have to approach it. Also we have to recognize, you know, I smile something when I see things happening in the same character. You take a situation now, and it's regretful that it leaves those countries. The reason it's third of foreign exchange, and you imagine you have two countries that have the capacity to have to let land <coughs> within the territories. One has a bagging facility, one has a production facility, but yet still they want to import cement from outside the region. And the argument is that the cement that is outside the region is cheaper. I want to say to you today that is not true. Because if they can find an argument that is cheaper using review, I can find an argument using for an exchange that is more expensive. And tell me which is more important, review or for an exchange. It's always for an exchange. Because when we speak about crisis, when we speak about a crisis, we always speak of a crisis in, in terms of not having for an exchange to buy goods and services. But all of the finances tomorrow, if they have a revenue problem, got a revenue problem, they know what to do. They go over my department. They will match the problem and they can use their policy to get their approval. But they cannot do the same thing about foreign exchange. And that is why it is very important for us not to get involved in this argument that the Arawa cement plant is selling cement outside of Barbados cheaper than it's selling in Barbados. For the simple reason, the Arawa cement plant is bringing for an exchange whenever they sell the cement outside of Barbados for us to get for an exchange to buy goods and services. When we buy cement from them, we do not pay in for an exchange, we pay in local currency. So the money that we are paying cannot be used to buy goods and services outside of Barbados. But when it is sold outside of Barbados, they have that money to buy goods and services for us. So we are gaining by the Arab cement plant selling cement outside of our labor. So I want to say that we have to understand that the measurement cannot only be about revenue, but it has to be about foreign exchange. And that brings me to the biggest point of all the foolishness that is going on within our region between the Western Cricket Board and the perpetrators. It is no doubt that both sides do not understand their responsibility to the region. Because if they understood their responsibility to the region, we would not be now standing as a secondary team or a secondary team to the South Africa. The South Africa. We would understand the importance of cricket to the development of the region. And we would understand the importance and the connection between manufacturing and cricket and tourism and cricket. One only. And you know, it's regrettable that the Vaccine Cricket Board and people did not understand what happened when both won the that race. Or when Graham Rapid won his race. They did not understand what impact that had on the region. <coughs> and how many people that did not know about the Caribbean knew about the Caribbean went after. But then with this foolishness, 
One is behaving like they are 300 years back, and the other is behaving like they have they are talent that will remain X for X more wisdom. I am saying that I have said it before, and I am saying again that the leaders of the region must understand it is not for anymore. It's a business.